Hello students, <coughs> hope you have completed yesterday the case at exam. Okay, and uh, I hope that uh, you did well in yesterday's uh, case at exam. And we had stopped uh, uh, for few days, two days uh, because of your uh, examination preparation for of sending this videos. So today I am continuing uh, to send the videos again here. Uh, so today uh, in the last video, uh, we had learned regarding the theories of trans effect in that we had learned regarding the polarization theory okay so what does this polarization theory so trans effect we have learned it what does this trans effect means and the series of the trans effect okay so polarization theory in the last video we had learned so what is that so ligand is there metal is there and trans one more ligand will be there and what will happen here this is polarized okay so if this ligand is more polarized by this metal ion what will happen now so there will be a creation of the dipole moment here so by which the metal will have some electron clouds here which is derived from this ligand okay so one creation will be there of the dipole moment here and because of this what will happen so here there is uh, one more ligand with having ligands electrons here and uh, this will happen to get uh, what you say uh, repulsion here and by which so this x can be out we can this bond will be weakened and this can be easily left out and this effect uh, of uh, the easy leaving of this uh, ligand x with the effect of or with the uh, nature of this ligand getting easily polarized is called trans effect so this was the first theory explained and the second theory but this could not be explained based on the pi bond so, okay so ligands which are going to form pi bond this theory fails so next theory is very important that is pi bond theory what happens here so simple here in the trans effect also we had learned this in square plan complexes also okay so here incoming ligand is there here this is a metal ligand bond here okay metal ligand bond here now what happens here now this is x is it right so this has to go out and this is going to come inside and fixed here and why this is going to out now because of the nature of the l here and here how is the nature of the l here it's a very good pi bonding nature see here so what will happen now this will attack and there will be a transformation taking place and you can see here there is a formation of trigonal bipyramidal transition C. Okay, so yeah, why is here? So why is attached here? So you will get uh, y here. And then x is as usual here. X is okay. X z plane, and this is y axis. Okay, and uh, metal is here, and this will be very stabilized now. This will be intermediate value. The trigonal bipyramidal is very st stabilized. Why this is stabilized? Because of formation of the uh, formation of the pi bond. So this is the field orbital of the metal okay field orbital of uh, uh, the metal d pi orbitals field orbitals and the ligand is having empty orbitals here and they get uh, orbital like this okay this is this may be the pi or p orbital uh, p uh, orbital or d or pi star orbital of the ligand and they get uh, they get uh, what to say overlapped with the non bonding field orbitals of the metal ion like this and you can say that these get very very stabilized now okay so they are going to get very much stabilized why the electrons are being dragged here like this okay from uh, dxz plane so electrons is been uh, uh, withdrawn here by the metal because it is transferring here like this and because of this what will happen now there is easy movement easy leaving of the x bond okay so this ligand is playing good role for easily displacement of the uh, ligand here y and finally you get uh, this so like this uh, and x is been left out and y is the incoming ligand is there ligand is here like this and we get uh, this complex okay so this is how now it was y here before here so it was x here now it has been replaced by another ligand that is y and who has made this this has made by this ligand l which is placed trans to him see so this ligand how it has made because of its tendency to form the pi bond like this okay so this is how the empty pi orbital ligand is having p d or pi star empty orbitals they get overlapped with the non bonding field orbital d pi orbital of the metals and form the pi bond so they are going to form the pi bond okay 
and the electrons uh, during this what will happen the electrons from the dxz plane the electrons from the dxz plane okay are withdrawn okay uh, orbital are withdrawn okay so it's so incoming nucleophile stabilized we are by which it is stabilized this intermediate is stabilized and thereafter we can see that there will be easy removal of the uh, ligand okay uh, pre, uh, attached to the, this uh, trans to the ligand L, and there is replacement of the another uh, nucleophile here is it right so this is the second theory that is pi bonding theory and this was the first theory that is pi theory and here completes the theory of the trans effect what is trans effect mechanism of trans effect preparation of cis platin so these all things we learned in this uh, in this and previous video now we will go for the next uh, next concept that is complementary and non complementary reactions what do you mean by this complementary and non complementary reactions okay complementary and non complementary is a, is a, is a, the two electron reaction mechanism okay where there is a exact that uh, those complexes or those reactions in which the reductant loses and oxidant gains two electrons gains two electrons such reactions we call it as a complementary reaction see for example you see here thallium to thallium plus 3 <coughs> in aqueous medium so you there is a there is a transfer so here it is losing the two electrons here so like this okay there is loss of two electron plus okay like this so that's why two electron will be there so uh, this is what oxidant uh, is uh, gaining two electrons and the reductant is losing the two electrons so, so in the presence of aqueous so this is aqueous media and this reaction can be done in the presence of chlorate ions okay when you do this uh, so there will be uh, this one but if you see this reaction I have in the uh, just uh, this we are given here uh, thallium to thallium plus 3 so but if you see the reaction of uh, uh, this so rate of reaction it is given by this k1 is a thallium plus 2 thallium plus 3 okay fine plus k2 into thallium plus 2 thallium oh is there you see plus 2 okay so here plus 2 plus 3 here plus 2 plus 2 is there okay plus 2 2 is there k2 reaction so to understand this uh, rate of reaction so how it has come so we will study with respect to the rate law expressions okay explanations here so uh, the rate law above rate law expression what we have given here so thallium plus 2 thallium plus 3 plus k2 into thallium plus 2 thallium oh plus 2 in aqueous media we are studying now so that's why so this is how we got the rate law expression here so how it has got so this can be explained by these two reactions you can see here thallium h2o n times plus uh, plus thallium h2o n times plus 3 gives you thallium h2o n times plus 3 that means uh, it interchanging like this i said you it is nothing but two electron system from reductant to oxidant and oxidant to reductant like this so you get here here reverse case like this now this can also be written as here thallium h2o n times plus okay to thallium h2o n minus 1 i am going to introduce oh here like this okay so when i am going to introduce oh here what will happen here so plus 3 will change to plus 2 okay because in aqueous media we are taking here so this also becomes a very good ligand here OH so when this happens in aqueous medium so the rate of the the, the charge will be here like this here so now there is two electrons so what will happen now what should happen here see here so two electrons from here if it goes uh, if it transfers here like this so one complex should get zero uh, zero here is it right let me see now you can see yes definitely so you have, you have got it here so if this two electron is transferred so what will happen now thallium h2o n plus 3 see here so this two whatever the charge is there if it transfers here so it becomes plus 3 plus it has lost you know everything so it will become zero here so that is what this is what i'm explaining so totally this is only the k uh, only the uh, oxid oxidized and reductant transfer by two electrons see here in above case also plus 3 charge is there plus is there there is transfer of two electrons and i get here plus 3 plus 2 yes second also there is plus one charge plus two charges are why because we have introduced one more this is only to make you know how it happens uh, see this also is possible here so plus two plus one charge is there okay now what will happen this plus two charge if it shifts here by the effect of two electrons uh, transfer here so this will become plus two plus that is plus three here and what happens here here it has to come zero then only this complementary reaction and we got it here zero so it is just uh, just a transfer of two electron system so like this okay so that is what for some more example uh, i can give here so here sn plus 2 is uh, sn tl plus 3 thallium plus 3 is there so what is that now here two electron if it transfers here what will happen here 
so s and tin plus 2 is always stable in plus 4 uh, plus 4 so two electrons from here if it goes here so two electron you transfer from here because it's highly stable so we got here s and what will happen to him so it has to get tellurium plus so two electron when it goes here so it becomes plus charge like this here similarly you take this here thallium plus 4 to hg plus 2 so again here no it's plus 2 here sorry it's plus 2 to plus uh, uh, plus 2 what will happen so this will go here like this okay so because it is stable in plus 4 strand so i got what now here sn plus 4 uh, tin plus 4 here okay stannous uh, to uh, stannous stannic and plus 4 here so it becomes zero here see two electron uh, is uh, is in transfer here similarly vanadium is there plus 2 thallium plus 3 yes two electron you transfer here so what will happen because vanadium is can uh, have this st stable configuration of vanadium plus 4 and this becomes again thallium plus a stable configuration like this so totally in three reactions you can see there is a transfer of the two electrons the next concept is non complementary reaction here there is no electrons released by the reactant is not equal to the number of uh, electrons accepted by the oxidant that means it is quite opposite of the complementary so here there is no such relation two electron transfer something like that so here there is no relation between the electrons released by reductant is not equal to uh, to the number of electrons accepted by the oxidant so example we can take here see thallium and fe plus 2 so fe plus 2 and thallium is there so first what will happen this fe plus 2 will reduce thallium to thallium to thallium plus 2 first step so th plus 3 to plus 2 see there is no question of uh, two electron system here and it will get oxidized to plus 3 the next step you can see here again this thallium uh, fe plus 2 will reduce this thallium plus 2 to thallium plus 1 see so thallium plus 3 uh, to thallium plus 2 thallium plus 2 to thallium plus 1 who is doing this this is done by the fe plus 2 and finally the final reaction if you see so 2 fe plus 2 plus uh, thallium plus 3 here okay thallium plus 3 because uh, this cancels here like this like this so this is thallium plus 3 giving you 2 fe plus 3 2 moles of fe plus 3 plus thallium plus this is the final reaction now where you can see there is no relation between the uh, between the electrons see here there oxidant and reductant here plus 2 is there here plus 3 is there here you see here plus 3 is there here plus 1 is there here 2 electron system 1 electron something like that so there is no equivalence here between the oxidant and the reductant 2 electron 1 electron that's why such reactions we call it as a non-complementary reactions hope you understood this today's concept regarding the non-complementary complementary as well as the theories of the trans effects okay in the next class we'll go for the next important concept concept that is uh, uh, the role of electron transfer mechanism thank you